Todd, investment risk is on the minds of many Canadians, particularly over the past year. How do our asset allocation ETFs help Canadians manage their investment risk? Sure. So the primary way is uh, you know, through asset allocation. So um, you know, what we're doing is really constructing an equity bond mix and a range of those mixes. Uh, because not only does that give you, you know, a good idea of, let's say, the return outlook that you could have for the portfolio, right. uh, but also the risk profile. Uh, so a simple way to look at it would be, you know, what's the range of returns that I could have in a given year? Uh, so if you look at the maximum one-year return or, um, you know, maximum one-year loss, you know, the asset allocation tends to give us that, that spectrum, if you will. Uh, if you think about, uh, you know, the asymmetry that we often see where investors, you know, often care a lot more about losses than, than gains, um, the asset allocation ETFs really give you that range of mixes so that you can really tailor, uh, you know, the risk profile right. with that investor's risk appetite and goals and, and so forth. And I know you've been uh, tracking the investment risk appetite of Canadians with Vanguard's investment risk speedometers. What have the most recent findings shown you in terms of how Canadians are looking at investment risk? So what we're doing uh, actually is publishing something called a uh, risk speedometer. So if you think about you know, the speedometer you could have on your car, where you have a really you know, a, a needle that tells you, you know, how fast you're going, uh, what we've done is essentially created a risk measure. We're looking at cash flows how much are investors putting in equity type assets versus fixed income, and then how does that compare relative to history? And that gives us this risk speedometer where we can look and see how is investment risk appetite today relative to history. And you know, encouragingly, what we've seen is that as the market's gone you know, up and down since we started the speedometers in 2017, uh, we've seen a pretty balanced risk appetite. Uh, and so that's something we're, we're encouraged by because uh, it really, to us, hopefully means investors are really looking past, you know, patches of volatility that you can have in the markets, really staying disciplined on the, the long-term goals they're trying to achieve. That's great. Thanks, Todd. All right. Thanks, Matt.